Yo, 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 guys, welcome back in today. Today, we're going to be talking about Afro Belizean people. Afro Belizean people can be broken down into two groups the Garifana and the Creole. The Garifana were brought to the island of St. Vincent, exiled to the Honduran coast, and in the 1700s were moved to Belize. Most Garifana live on the coast, with some living in villages and towns. Garifana are of African descent and or of African and Arawak descent. In 1675, cargo ships would wreck on the islands of St. Vincent. The West Africans just being brought over and escaped Maroon Africans escaping to other islands would go on to live with the Arawak population. This society would exist and develop independently from Africans on the labor plantations. The Garifana and the Arawak would create fighting regiments who resisted European colonization for over a century. Fighting back against the French and the British would have the European powers go on to recognize St. Vincent and Dominica as neutral islands. In 1796, Chief Joseph Chattier, a legendary Garifana, would fight and then sign a treaty with the British. A second war would break out soon after, and with improved British armaments, the British would defeat and take the Garifana and Arawak prisoners of war. In 1797, more than 5,000 Garifana were transported on British ships and deserted on the Honduran Bay Island of Rotan. Some would stay and others would move to the mainland of Honduras, an ally with Spain. The new allies would fight against British military and pirate attacks. The Garifana would also take the Spanish side when the Central American Independence Wars would start. For this, the people would be treated worse after the independence of Honduras. The largest Garifana population and first settlement of Belize was Dengriga. In 1937, the dictatorship of Honduras would lead to 22 Garifana men in San Juan digging their own graves. They would be killed due to false charges of treason. The rest of the community would escape to Hopkins. On the isolated coast, the people would be able to maintain cultural practices in their language. Men would fish and trade created products on the coast. The men would also work as loggers, merchant mariners on fruit boats, and also migrated to the U.S. for work. Women would do agricultural work. Intermingling of the Grafana and the Creole cultures would eventually exist. The Grafana people pushed for the government to declare November 19th as Settlement Day in Belize for the Grafana people. This holiday is celebrated by performances, cultural drummers, dancers, traditional food, and a reenactment of Grafana boats landing in Belize. These two cultures, the smaller Grafana and the larger Creole cultures are starting to intertwine. In modern days, many Grafana have moved to English speaking countries and the US. In urban areas, professional occupations are pursued. The other group, which is Creoles, were brought to British Honduras, which is Belize today by baymen law cutters of English and Scottish descent. Some of them were buccaneers or freelance sailors for hire. The British would obtain Africans from Jamaica and other Caribbean countries by kidnapping them. The Africans were used to cut the logwood in the logwood trade. Africans, over time, would be raped or intermingled with Europeans and other Caribbean peoples. The earliest European account for Africans in Belize was by Spanish missionaries in the early 1700s. In the 1980s, 60% of the population was Creole. With immigration to the United States, this number would drop. Creole culture can range in looks and is classified as an ethnic group. Anyone that is partly of African descent or speaks the Belize Creole language can be considered Creole. Unlike in other parts of the Americas, 
Creoles here can be a mix, lower or higher percentage of any group that is mixed with African. Belize Creole was at one point only spoken by Creoles, but now is spoke by a majority of the population. Majority of the population came from West and Central Africa. The Igbo ethnic groups of West Africa was very prevalent in the people coming to Belize. Igbo town in Belize town was dominated by Igbo people from West Africa. Maroon settlements in the forest, such as other maroon African groups escaping slavery around the world, was created in Belize. In the 1800s, many clashes would happen between the Creoles and authorities. They were also known for the trade in fish, fishing, and sea turtle trade. In the 1900s, Creoles would help create organizations that would change the country. Riots and natural disasters would lead to Belize's first trade unions. From these trade unions would come the People United Party, or PUP. Also organizations such as the United Black Association for Development were created to unite Creoles. With more major disasters happening, many Creoles would move to the United States. Celebrations such as the Creole Festival happen at the House of Culture in Belize. Maypole is also a celebration of tall wooden poles decorated with colored ribbons. The Creole dance, Sambai, is celebrated too. The ancestors would bring their different tribes to Belize City to celebrate Christmas. They would dance in a circle under the moon with one person being in the middle. This dance was the passage rite for young teens into adulthood. The woman would do a fertility dance while the men dance for dominance of life. Music is also very important as well. Book down style of music was created by Creole families long ago. It is also a style of Belize music and is looked at more as a rural music. Drums, banjos, and even animal donkey jawbones are used to create this music. Creole food consists of rice and beans with stewed or baked dishes. Iguana, fish, cassava, cacao, plantains, and potatoes can all be found in the culture. For breakfast, Creole bun or Creole bread and Johnny cakes are very common. Coconut oil and milk was very common in the cuisine, though in the early 1990s, a plague killed off most of the coconut trees. So you guys, today we learned a little bit about Afro-Belize people. Please like and subscribe, turn on the bell notification down there so you get all my videos. Add me on all social medias, which is Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, all African network, each one teach one. Always love each other, always learn from each other. And yo guys, until next time, one love.